So, <clears throat> I walk self-forgiveness every day. Um, recently, a lot of the times, I'll just speak it or like think it in my head if I'm busy doing something, but the reason that I am um, just going all in and this is what I do is because I've tried anything else and this is the only thing that um, to me really matters. <clears throat> and so you know, I share where I learned self-forgiveness from uh, for other people to use because to me it's the only thing that works for me and it might be the same way for other people. Um, and so I wanted to document one of the ways that I've been <clears throat> using self-forgiveness um, where really it's a very personal thing you have to learn how to do and to use for yourself so um, one of the ways that um, day to day I apply it is um, if I have something that's stuck on my mind I can dig into it through self-forgiveness and correction until it's um, being alleviated until I'm digging in and um, letting go of whatever's on my mind. This uh, more and more starts to translate to being able to just be more deliberate in any given situation where it then comes through into the living you breathe your directive who you are what you're standing for uh, what you're living your words and all that stuff uh, starts to come through more and more so you know there's the general core application which is you know your anger fear nervousness reactions judgments the way you perceive things even just when you look at someone and you don't even realize you're maybe judging them but just how you look at them um, when I look at that tree and um, what does that mean I mean immediately you can dig in and it's I don't see any immediate judgment because a tree isn't really like doing anything for me to judge it but at the same time under the surface you know it is uh, like these trees keep dropping these acorns onto the ground and I really don't like that because it's like kind of quiet and all of a sudden this acorn drops and so now I'm very aggressive towards these trees you know and I'm looking at them not liking them right now so um, so that's the general outline is those very core things, you know, things that it's so easy to think have to be that way, the anger, uh, judgments, resentments, um, you know, even the positive things, a lot of like, for me I've had a lot of fantasy kind of oriented mind where I might be going out walking and I wouldn't just be there walking, I would start to have visions and start to see things and that's just how charged up my, um, my mind has been, you know, growing up, that's just what I created to, you know, stimulate myself, um, which just has its own consequences, its own ups and downs, but besides the basic, uh, like I'm saying, what I really wanted to show here is something that I've been practicing, um, and really just because it's such a personal thing, self-forgiveness, I've been really trying to see to what extent can you change yourself you know how um, for perspective for me I have so much moving in me at any given time I have <clears throat> just very visceral things I'm seeing moving within me a lot of like physical um, energetic things happening uh, so I'm like a very 
charged up kind of person. So what will happen is I'm trying to deal with this thought, emotion, reaction, all this stuff, you know, and just in a day, it's like I couldn't even deal with every single thing, just even just on a thought level popping up in me. And so that's from there is when I started to try to adapt a little bit. And so this is um, just something I just picked up on and I'm going to try to um, think of a good example. <clears throat> so instead of um, the normal way I would think about it, like a thought, a reaction, whatever, uh, I'm just taking in a very, just my deepest, you know, experience that I'm having right now. Okay. So my deepest, you know, who am I right now? Um, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear not being able to focus. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear there's nowhere I can place myself that things won't start coming up, reactions just being charged up. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear there being nowhere for me to run from myself and how charged up I am just in every way. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear finding no way to uh, satisfactory discharge all this energy I constantly have uh, charged up within me, within just my conscious existence. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear being trapped within my consciousness where there's no rest for real, there's no physical connection, there's no moment I can be still. <clears throat> I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to look for ways to make myself feel special and glorify myself within my existence where in reality I know I am completely trapped in my own um, consciousness. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear having no way to sort myself out where there's always another um, thing going off within me, there's always something going off. <clears throat> I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to within being so trapped to idolize myself and make myself feel special where it's like if I'm stuck here with what I am in my mind and basically just kind of like being on drugs constantly but I'm not all I do is really smoke cigarettes so I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear how things start to feel on the wire like just the intensity of being trapped you know here in my body but not really here with my body and just how physically things start to become very uncomfortable I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to act out where I see if I just walk things out in real time 
everything can be resolved, I can become who I want to be, stand for what I want to stand for, live the life I want to live. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to totally automate even my movement as characters and mind possessions where I don't even have the willpower to just assert myself here to really be deliberate in each moment there's just too much going on and I will just automatically start to do things and things start to kick in. <clears throat> okay, so that was pretty broad, but there is a very specific um, acorn to uh, what I'm saying. So, when and as I see myself fearing how trapped I am as the reality of how trapped I am setting in, I stop, I breathe, I realize that realizing I'm trapped and realizing for me what is going on with me is new to me and is something that I just need to work through. Like it's all kicking in, like I'm starting to get you know, a good picture of myself and what's going on. Thus, I commit myself to not be overwhelmed by this new information where I see that I'm just processing new information. Uh, just the reality of um, who I am within my own consciousness, my own existence is um, starting to kick in and I am trapped and alone within it. So, uh, what am I saying? Shit. Um, so I commit myself to not be overwhelmed by this new information. So what that means is be patient with myself. You know, if I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do certain things, automated things, I'm going to be saying certain things, doing certain things. It's a process, so that's to see this is new information, be patient with it. Um, the way things are unfolding for me, being patient with myself. Um, that's a commitment, that's, you know, something to live by to become part of who I am, you know, what I'm living and breathing without even thinking, just becoming and, and living that, being that patience not letting, you know, new information overwhelm me. Like I could say, well, you know, my mind is so wild and it's like, oh, I'm on drugs, it's wild. But I'm not on drugs and it's wild, you know. But then, you know, reality kicks in and you have to make it work. If I'm at home and I, you know, maybe I lay on bed and, wow, you know, I'm having this crazy experience, you know, and this is wild. But then, you know, you go to work and things are still wild, but now you're stressed out because you're at work. So that's to don't um, don't look down when you're walking that tightrope don't look down um, so that's my example of uh, self-forgiveness that is more you know just taking me and, and who I am you know in this moment a really broad and yet still finding that core to um, forgive um, with still precision and correction and commitment with still having precision but just for me uh, just needing something that can really uh, take the edge off where if I just dealt with every single thought every single thing going on maybe I'm not even gonna really get very far and I'm just gonna get burnt out so just that's just innovating that's taking these tools and really trusting myself to be able to use them and apply them in a way that supports me. Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching.